welcome back to the channel i hope you all doing well and doing good so in today's video we're going to be talking about how much it cost me to build my fence i've been having series of questions in my email asking me how much it cost me to build this fence so i thought i should sit down with you guys and tell you how much it cost me so i'm going to be telling you the prices of materials i hope you stick around you enjoy the video watch the video to the end because there is a very important information that you don't want to miss all of your questions answers and you want to know what's going on with the prices of material workmanship and all of those things that you want to know that you've been asking me so stick around and watch the video to the end if you're new here please hit the red subscribe button to be subscribed to our channel if you over goodies as we always say thanks for stopping by lots of you new subscriber hello thanks for stopping by thanks for subscribing to your guest channel i love you guys you guys already know how i feel about you the love is so bursting in my heart for you guys thank you so so much for all of your support i really appreciate it i really really love your comments i'm loving your support and i just want to say thank you so let's get straight into the video. Yeah, lots of you been asking me how much it cost me to build my fence. So there's so many things involved in building, in building as a whole, building in general. So before you build, you want to go to the professional, another professional. I just thought I should give my knowledge of things I, I have experienced. As I said, I'm not a professional in these things, but I have my own experience, experiences. So I don't want anything, any bad thing or any negative things to hold you back. And you know, for you to be at ease with whatever project you're going on with so you can know beforehand what to expect so i thought i should let you know before you get into your project so you will see me looking down here because i've gotten it all down on paper so i don't make any mistake this is why i'll keep looking down here and also talking to you guys sometimes it's so difficult doing these things if you don't have the right people you don't have the right you know environment or the right support you found out that you spend lots and lots of money and this even discourage some people to go on with their plan so i know i'm talking about fans today but as you all know or as you may know i'm other i'm into other projects but today video is all about my fence before you build anything or put down any structure for that matter you want to know the pros and cons or you want to go to the professional to ask them what it's like to do what you want to do so this is what i did i found the right people that will give me advice on what i want to do so after i've done that i started getting my materials to make my project easy so the first thing i did was to mold my blocks i had to buy two motors and those motors cost me 30 dollars for each so it was 60 dollars when i bought my motor i don't know how much it is now because prices changes all of the time but when i bought mine it was 30 dollars i found the people that will be doing the molding of the blocks and I got my materials. So they have different types of cement. I think they have about three different types of cement. I think it goes with the grading. That means the strength of the cement. You can do your research to make sure of that because I wanted the blocks to be really hard so that the fence last forever so once you have the person that's going to do the job the next thing you want to do is to get your material that is your cement your sand your motor some people have their own motor they buy it and some people like to rent motors motors are the cube that um, square or however they call it 
thing that you when once they make the cement and the sand they put it in there to have the to mold the blocks to make it into a cube so that's the model that does that so some people rent it and some people buy it you also have to pay the person who will be molding the blocks you have to come to an understanding whether you will have to provide food for them or they will provide their own food and then you just pay them their money coming down to the materials the prices of the material so the cement it has different prices you have some for seven dollars fifty cents you have some for six dollars i think 75 cents and you have some for eight dollars fifty cents i decided to go with the eight dollars fifty cents one i didn't buy it in bulk i bought it i bought like um 50 bags first and then went on to 75 bags and then back down to 50 so I just wanted to play that way to see how everything goes. And the next thing I bought was the sand because you need the sand to mix with the cement to mold the blocks. So you have to buy the sand. And I bought the 10 tire load of sand. And the first load I bought was two 10 tires. That means two truck loads of sand. And each truck load is $130. That's how much I spent on one 10 tire load of sand. And the next thing I bought was the crush racks because I wanted the crush racks to be there and be waiting for when the work starts. So I just thought I should you know, get them ready. So I also bought the steel. You need someone to plant the steel. Depending on the size you want and depending on the length, you have to buy the thing. I don't know the name of it now, but there is something that they tie. If I remember, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. So yes, I bought that, and then I have I had to pay for the person that was going to plant it one dollar or one dollar seventy five cents for one of those cubes. But one of the steel rod cost me eight dollars fifty cents. I can't remember the length, but it was eight dollars fifty cents, and I had to buy seventy five up to. Uh, hundred pieces, thirty blocks to come from each bed of cement. Some people do twenty-seven blocks to come from each bag. Some people do thirty-two bags, thirty-two blocks to come from each bag. But I decided to go for thirty blocks from one bag of cement. The person that was plotting the steel wheel. After they finish plating the steel rod, you have to transport it. You can get somebody to, you know, like the wee barrel people to transport it or you can get a pickup to transport your material. So remember, you need to get transport to, to take it from the store where you bought the cement to take it to your site. That's transport. You have to pay. Now coming to the workmanship, the people that will do the work, that means to build the fence. So you have to make an agreement or you people have to sit down and discuss how much their workmanship will be and how they are going to carry on the work. So this is what I did because I didn't want them to come with too many complaints telling me about there is no transport for me to come on time so i provided accommodation for them so they can carry on the work and you also need to discuss with them whether you know their um, feeding will come from their money so that also needs to be discussed so for the workmanship we had to pay them a thousand five hundred so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video was informative enough for you to have a clue for you to have enough information to do what you want to do when it comes to your project this is what i am trying to bring out to you guys just to inform you to make you aware of things that you need to be aware of when you carry on these kind of projects I know it's not easy to do but with determination and 
you know strong willpower you can make it you can do it don't let anyone discourage you because if you take your time and study the whole situation it all comes together nicely don't forget to hit the red subscribe button to be part of our tribe be part of our family thank you so much to also hit the notification button to be notified every time we upload new video Thank you and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Stay with me. If only for a moment. Only for a while.